right now we're at uh, Karsten Jung and uh, boy do they have some really great stuff here so uh, obviously everybody knows the CG optic microscopes you all know the Flexion yeah it's uh, quite uh, let's say a staple now in terms of good quality dental microscopes but now we have something really amazing which is the new 3D microscope which uh, let's say still a prototype but it will officially be launched at um, at the end of this year and it's quite a different technology opposite to what you've probably seen before because you see there you have the head of the microscope but you have a really high definition screen in front of you so you're basically working looking directly at that screen and you don't need any 3d glasses you don't need anything like that you're basically looking at the screen and then you have a set of cameras right there you see the cameras track your movement so whenever you're too far away or too close, so you cannot properly see on the 3D screen, they are going to alert you and they are going to, let's say, put a message there and say, no user, let's see if uh, uh, something like that appears right now. You have the focus, 10 times focus only, so the, uh, the, the focus, sorry, the focus is only 40 millimeters, so you need to put the, the microscope really close to the patient's mouth, this is a downside, and the zoom is only 10x, because this is a digital microscope in the true meaning of that word so you have a 3d camera inside there which captures the image so there are some limitations opposite to a conventional microscope um, but still i believe the magnification is quite high enough for you to do proper endodontics the field of view is again really really great the movement is is very smooth the movement is very smooth, the microscope is very balanced. The body is the same as with the flexion, so it, there's really nothing new uh, there to discuss. You have the buttons with the autofocus right there, you see AF autofocus, you can record and you can take uh, pictures. You can also take them in uh, 2D, so you can connect the microscope to a screen on your um, uh, uh, wall office and you have the 2D image. You know, it's impossible at the moment to connect it to a 3D screen. So basically you're going to get the image out from the connection which is here and it's going to be, yeah, the connection which is here is going to be 2D. So there's no possibility to get the 3D image out of the microscope. You also have fluorescence with the, the microscope. So you have fluorescence on the screen, which is again something really, really uh, nice. And yeah, overall seems to be a great product. I mean, it's probably one of the best functional 3D microscopes I have seen. And now I just want to show you also the new Flexion. You know, because a lot of, um, let's say, um, 